uh, build the Ellinger on Saturday. It turned out to be a, just a beautiful day starting off. We get out to the um, golf course and it's really foggy and then you watch everything burn off and, you, and uh, the bright and light and, and getting to see you know, some great teams around us with the U Dubs and the University of Oregon and uh, the Boise States. And I think one of my first impressions from just being out there, men and women, I thought that the, one of the things that we belonged for probably the first time really that we we didn't stand out a little bit. We really, they just kind of blended in. Um, it stood out, and there's a lot of confidence going in. Um, on the women's side, ultimately, we were in the second race of the race, race of the day. Got to get fired up by the guys getting out and getting after it a little bit. Uh, women were kind of in an inside box, and we had to get set up to get out relatively well. But that, our goals, we talked about on Friday night, were to compete, to know where twos, threes, fours were from the other teams, because. In terms of scoring, those are the people, if you're a two, three, and four, you have to be racing with and have to beat. And I felt like we were really successful overall for the day with that. Um, we're not quite there with the Boise States of the world in terms of where their fitness and their development and those kind of things are. But we showed that we could compete or think about competing, put themselves in a position to compete. I was really pleased with the risks they took that way. We're just catching up on the time side of things. This is how to get fast enough to, to get there. Uh, one of the things we'll talk to the ladies about is the progression of Boise State over the last four years, five years. And to take a look at them is a great model for where we can be at. Got a little bit closer to Idaho. Uh, we were dealing with an athlete. We ended up not running. Maggie ended up not running. Just not feeling sharp lately. So we decided we'd be better to rest her than race her. And Lauren woke up, uh, Bergen woke up on Saturday morning feeling awful. <laughs> And just kind of sat and said, what do you want to do? And she goes, you know what? It's going to be a great day anyway. And she really ran very well. 24th really isn't indicative of how well she ran. There's a lot of things that, you know, you can see that illness kind of gave up a little bit at the end. Um, Taylor Cherry had a great breakthrough race, and she's ready to step up for more. We're getting kids back healthy. We brought Laura Tidehill down for the first time. She's been out for quite a while. I expected about half a race with uh, being right in there and being with everybody. She's really completed one short workout recently, so she really hasn't done much more than that. So we got, even have her what we wanted and got her a little fired up, so that'll even help us down the road. But overall, I think it was a, it was a solid performance. We, and we're not satisfied with seeing a you know, seventh place finish. That's just not where we really want to be, but for who we are at this point, we're in a good place to keep moving forward and, and we can, we're on the right path to become an, a competitor with those other great schools.